Okay, so behind me is where America became divided. The Bangor Mall. I mean, the Bangor Airport, International Airport. Mr. Morrison's baby girl. I used to get a new plane every time they took off. Um, <coughs> so I think what started as harmless shit really just came overboard. Um, because people are actually, like, I mean, maybe just to get money, a little bit of money or whatever or not go to jail. Um, people might be making fake passports, fake stuff, but those people that are using them are using them for really, really bad things is the problem. Like, really bad things. Like, stealing children and selling them on the black market type things. Now, I think if everybody just stops, gets together, because we've been calling me Stevie Shovel Nose, because apparently somebody's been suing everybody above, uh, that falls below the level of care, very briefcase nose. Right, Bangor Daily? Okay, so that was my master beta, Mr. Beta Fish. I used to go to Eastern Maine, and I'd be in there with my oxygen tank. I was a cool little hippie rocker chick. Um, that's how I know all those bands. Um, AST. Um, they actually put people, like, in animal suits, like, all up and down my fucking road and past a dumb keg in an Enfield, like, with, like, machine guns and shit, like, animal suit drive-by. Like, this shit's gotten out of control, Bronk and Bucks. Okay. So, we have the Agency on Aging. We have the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. We have everything. We have now three Cape Hearts. Cape Hearts. Um, like, where are these people going? Like, I don't think any of you realize that... I have been pinged to that airport my entire fucking life. Everybody has to know where I am at all times, but I have protection from abuse order. Now, I've been running from these doctors my whole life that took me in Winniport. My family didn't even know what they did to me. Um, I was born with rickets, meaning I'm really scared about Paul from 3rd Street in Holland, too, since they said polio was gone. Um, they have the main made us, which, yeah, main made us all have fucking cancer. But they're also printing stuff online. So they hacked everything. So it might not even be people making stuff anymore. It's the fact that they've hacked everything. Now, America was supposed to be the place to come to be free. Why the fuck aren't we free anymore? This whole country was given to me as a little girl. I'm glad my sister found two pieces of moss. Maybe the trees can start straightening out again. Thank you. Subscribe. Share the shit out of this shit. Motherfucker.